Oh, and here comes the music of PJ Savage, a man who was a tag team champion, and he just decided not to show up every time he had a title defense. Some say the car broke down. Others say he tucked his tail in between his legs. Some says he uses the bathroom sitting down. I don't know. But he was rightfully stripped. That was the first good thing Billy did since he hired me. Here it comes! You know what's sad about PJ Savage? Nothing, Alphonse. No. Oh, darn thing. He was once a Titan. And now, he didn't have what it takes to be a Titan anymore, so he's running around waving the Funhouse flag. Yes, this is a Funhouse spotlight match. You're not wrong on that, Alphonse, but this is a guy, as I've said many times tonight, who went out and grabbed the bull by his horns. He wasn't happy where he was. He wasn't happy with his positioning. And right now, he went and got the fights that he wanted. He is back in the Titan ring, and he's going to bring the fight to a lot of our Titans here. But do you know who his opponent is tonight? A former Evolve Tag Team Champion. Yeah. A former Ring of Honor Tag Team Champion. You spit knowledge. Dirty Chris Dickinson. He's going to destroy PJ Savage. This is going to be a walk in the park. This is a guy who hung out with Tony Deppin, Homicide, and Brody King. Do you think PJ Savage could amount to that level of violence? The man was in a group called Violence Unlimited. Come on. You ain't wrong. Spitting some knowledge, Alphonse. It's going to be a treat to see Dickens in here versus Savage. Well, you already listed the resume, Alphonse. Very well said. But it's no easy task. You have to give me that, taking on the Savage one. You know, every tag team title that Chris Dickinson held, he never was stripped for failure to defend. He was never scared of anybody. Although technically no longer a part of Titan, though, Alphonse, I think, I think Savage has that home field advantage, wouldn't you say? No, not at all. Well, we're going to find out. Is PJ Savage ready to step up to the plate, face a real world-renowned international athlete, international superstar, a true professional wrestler? Well, when this is all said and done, after PJ Savage has to get scraped off the canvas from looking up at the lights for three seconds, maybe he'll say to himself, oh, maybe I should have called Billy and told him the car broke down. Wow. Nevertheless, the action the ring gets underway. It's a chess match early on, a thinking man's battle as Dickinson using that pure map-based wrestling skill set to go with that already world-renowned professional wrestling skill set. And now it's PJ Savage just trying to hold on to break up that leverage. Now here's the thing. Chris Dickinson is a proven commodity in singles wrestling. Yes. PJ Savage, his success has mainly come from being a tag team wrestler, as evidenced from the titles that he was stripped from earlier tonight. And a quick shoulder up from Savage. Will this be the difference? I respectfully disagree, Alphonse. Yes, a lot of success as a tag team competitor, but also as a singles competitor. And this might be the hashtag year of Savage. Clean break from Dickinson after he slipped the half in, got a one count, lets him go. And he's just letting uh, the young upstart Savage know what he's in store, in store for. And this is only mere minutes into this match. And look at the tremendous shape Chris Dickinson is in. My goodness. You ain't wrong. I can only dream to look half as good as that. PJ Savage now. What a clothesline. Yeah, what do you think of that one, Alphonse? Holding tag team title gold at Ring of Honor and most recently signing that New Japan Pro Wrestling contract. The world, if they haven't already heard of Chris Dickinson, everyone's going to know who he is in the months to come. The Dirty Daddy, he's every bit as good as the billing. And right here, PJ Savage looking to, to prove he can hang at that kind of a level. Savage knows who he is. He's going for it. No! Probably a safe move. Veteran maneuver, veteran smarts there from the Dirty Daddy, Chris Dickinson. Not his first rodeo. 
I mean, again, look who he, you look who he hung out with toward the end of Ring of Honor. When you're hanging around Tony Depp and Homicide and and uh, Br and Brody King, you're gonna learn a lot. And play the Benny what? Hill music because I think right here, you, certainly uh, Dickinson is just toying with PJ Savage, the veteran messing with the young upstart. And PJ Savage is giving into the chase. Is this a wrestling match? Oh, uh, that was called a psychological advantage right there. I can't even believe PJ Savage bought. Hook, line, and sinker. But sometimes when you're in the heat of battle, you don't see things that we see here from the commentator's table. Oh, big backbreaker onto Dickinson. And PJ Savage doesn't care what I have to say. Looking to pick up the upset here in Bayville, but no, two says Johnny Q. Savage showing a little frustration here, but you know he's only getting more fired up. You've seen his matches, Alphonse. I definitely have. He gets a demotion and a promotion all in one night, in my professional opinion. Stripped of the tag team titles, but getting rewarded with a single oh. dragon screw from the Dirty Daddy. That might be one of the worst dragon screws I've ever seen. His leg really twisted on that. You got the that. ACL, you got the MCL, and you got a lot of sensitive tendons and ligaments in there that can also be damaged in addition to... And I think Dickinson's going to stay on that leg, gentlemen. Uh, you think? As he should. PJ's so savage, he should figure out a way to, man to maneuver around that. There we go, one-legged, oh. single-leg crab. And this could be it. Can the savage one find a way out of this, perhaps make it to the ropes? This crowd trying to get behind him here. Come on, PJ, what do you got? Dickinson, very methodical, doesn't talk a lot in the locker room, kind of keeps to himself. He's a true thinking man's wrestler, and now, like you said before, he picked the body part and he's sticking to it, and that's a smart strategy, because PJ Savage, it's been a long time since we've seen PJ Savage in this amount of anguish, this amount of pain, this amount of trouble in a match. He, he talks a lot in the ring though, David, you know that. Ooh, staying right on that knee. Using that rope right into the back of the knee, P.J. Savage might need an MRI at the local medical facility after Chris Dickinson is done with that leg. Chris Dickinson do doesn't just beat you. He makes you remember him for weeks and months and years to come. If, you, if you're in a match with Chris Dickinson, you'll always remember it because of maneuvers like this. But P.J. Savage, once again on the comeback trail. Yeah, not to psychoanalyze here, but we talk about the chatter and the banter. Dickinson talking down to P.J. And P.J. is getting more fired up. Oh no! Oh, that leg again! And he holds on for dear life. Hey, hip! Savage is a lot of trouble. And now he goes to the other leg. Figure four. And, and oh! oh. Woos from the crowd right now. PJ in a very bad way, guys. And a lot of fans won't notice. It's that little, look at that 45 degree shift in the hips of Chris Dickinson. He's not lying flat. He's turning the hips, and now he thrusts back on the hips and the gluteus maximus and his shoulders and back. And that, he's, he's giving that much more torque and pain to the knee of Savage. PJ's getting desperate here, trying to claw, trying to, he was trying to punch Dickinson, couldn't reach. He's, he's trying to will himself over here, I think, guys. And no! A long way from the ring. And there's that hip turn once again. Oh! Almost a pin. Uh, so much pain that PJ was laid out flat. I don't know what PJ can do here or where he goes. He's got to think of something quick. He, can, he has to pray. Come on, PJ. Come on, PJ. And he gets it. Ref breaking up the hold here. And PJ not even on his feet yet, just holding the legs. He doesn't want to put the pressure on it, but he's using the ropes, I think, to pull and, himself up. And, and look at that glare in PJ's eyes. And think about the punishment. Remember, when you're when you're working on a knee, you're working on the kneecap, you're working on the ACL, the MCL, and the PCL, all those ligaments. Yeah. Look, he's barely standing. P PJ's hobbling. But PJ's still in the fight, gentlemen. I mean, he's got a fighter's chance, and that's what we have to focus on. He's like, come on, let's bring it. He n he'll never back down, gentlemen. You know that. Not too many men can do that this deep into a Chris Dickinson matchup, say, hey, bring it, because Chris will. He can take it, and he'll throw it right back. There's something different about PJ, though, guys. He just, do he just doesn't give up. I mean, PJ Savage, he had the world with those tag team titles. You heard what he said earlier? It meant the world to him. And, oh, wow, wait a minute. That's the P.J. Savage I know. That's a mistake. Look at the eyes of Chris Dickinson. P. 
DJ is going to get it now. Back and forth. Two gladiators, one ring. PJ Savage, the dirty daddy. Something's got to get here in Bayville. The last thing you want to do is tell Chris Dickinson you eat those. <laughs> Straight up slap to the mush. Representing nobody but Savage. He represents himself from now on. Uh-oh. But Dickinson... Right, right, oh, back. right back to that knee. That basement drop kick, and he's out of there. Smart strategy. I hate to say it. What's he got here? No! A running headbutt by PJ Savage! Holy sheesh. Yeah. Wow. Dickinson's down. Savage is down. Something's got to give. This quick reminder July the 16th, it's American Spirit, the Bayville Elks, Bayville, New Jersey. Tickets on sale now. And this crowd is split between PJ Savage and Chris Dickinson. Well, I think we're getting, getting to seven right now, guys. Oh, man. I don't know who got the worst of that one. Big clothesline by Savage. Dickinson's right back up, though. Dickinson's back down, but right back up. Savage building momentum. Could the upset be in the making here? I will say if PJ Savage defeats Chris Dickinson, it's the biggest win of his career. You think? Step up into Gary. Here comes that dirty daddy, but he gets back. All the way around in a big slam. Only a two count. Man, oh man. Wow. I don't know what he calls that, but I'm going to call it the Big Apple. He almost beats him, but two is not three. What a fight. What a night. And now it's PJ Savage showing signs of life first. You said it, David. What a fight thus far. Again, both men down, just staring at one another, thinking, where? Oh, you hear these chants, guys? Are these people in Bayville insane? They've seen PJ Savage's resume. They've seen his work. You've seen it too, Alphonse. Don't tell me you haven't. I have. I've called it. Oh, oh deadlift on him. Strength. Drops him right on the back of his freaking head. The last time I saw that much heavy lifting, I picked up my ex-fiance. All right, it's gonna stretch him out. Will Savage tap. Man, oh man, this could be it right here. This dirty daddy got him dead right in the middle of the ring. Cross face around, a cross face around the head of PJ Savage. Beautiful STO. Yep, PJ in the ropes though. Gotta break it. He had enough ring awareness to make it to the ropes. Okay, the good news is the, the move's been broken. The bad news is PJ Savage looks lifeless. How is he gonna continue in a match the caliber of someone, who, of Chris Dickinson? How's he gonna continue this fight? PJ has been beaten down. Yeah, absolutely, Alphonse, after the, oh wait, no! Oh, show of defiance! That's the PJ Savage I know. Wow, these savage chants from the crowd here in Bayville. And PJ's literally dead weight right now. He's literally holding on for dear life. Holding on to the back of those calves. And now Powell right in the kisser. Powell right in the kisser. He's still got fight left in him, gentlemen. Wow. Oh my God, punch after punch and a big kick for good measure. This is for you, PJ. Toasty. Oh, no! The dirty daddy sidesteps him, though. Big body avalanche clothesline from Dickinson. Oh, Close no, no. Back. Oh, man! DVD in HD, that's got to be it. No! He got kicked out! What? Okay. What a match this is, guys, but no! Wow, and he's got the STL right in the middle of the ring. Right that's back on, no ropes to help PJ this time. He's stretching him out. Man, just working that leg. It's not worth it, PJ. So many. Tap out, there it is. Oh, and he does. So many submissions, it was too much. Well, how savage is PJ uh, now? This is going to be What a match that was, gentlemen. I told you so. Dickinson was just too much, too methodical for the Savage one tonight here at Devastation and Destruction. And, and I, I am devastated, guys, I'm not gonna lie. Has he earned Dickinson's respect? Has PJ Savage earned the respect? 
You know what PJ's mistake was? Well, several mistakes. One was taking this match. Wait, wait. Oh. There you go. That says a lot. Says a whole lot, guys. Dickinson wins the fight, but PJ Savage may have won the night because PJ Savage has earned the respect of a world travel dirty daddy. Chris Dickinson. I said it earlier, guys. Yeah, he took the L tonight, but I truly think that this is the hashtag Year of Savage as the fans here in Bayville continue, despite the loss, to chant Savage, Savage, and the respect from PJ Savage to this Bayville crowd tonight here at Devastation and Destruction. Wow. He's got the adulation of the people here in Bayville. You love to see it. The comeback's gonna be better than the, than the setback. That remains to be seen. It will be seen, Alphonse. It well, will be seen. He can't make a comeback if he's hobbling on one leg like handicapped Jimmy. Let's hear it for the Bayou Buffett set 